Okay, the next matter is the matter of Angel Mendoza. Are you a Angel Mendoza? No, Your Honor, my name is Jacqueline Rodriguez, but I was the one with the vehicle. So. You were operating the vehicle, You're, and okay, now I'm trying to accommodate you. Inspector Quinn tells me you have a gunshot wound in your leg. Yes, Your Honor, I just got, I just got shot um, about like three days ago, two days ago. I've been back and forth in the hospital because I still have the bullet, the bullet in there. Um, I spoke to the detectives, they went to the hospital and they did a very good job. But I was walking by a park and they don't know what kind of gun sh like gunshot was it. They say it was probably a 22 because of the hole, but they did x-rays and I still have it in there. And they said they can't, they can't take it out. It's gonna cause more damage to me if they take it out. So they have to leave it in there. Are you gonna get to the point where you can walk without a limp or you don't know? <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely will, Your Honor, because I got four kids, so for my four kids, I have to like get up and keep walking. I can't let it drop me. You have four children? Yes, I do. That's why I'm here, because I was waiting for my other children to get out of school. So I had parked the car outside because the baby lives off of oxygen. So I had to carry the oxygen up for my son inside the house. And I left the car parked right there while my other children get out of school. It was only 1.29 p.m. And by the time I came out, I already had the ticket. So I, like, it's right in front of the house, so I figured it wasn't gonna be an issue with me running in for like an hour and then leaving again, but the, I got the ticket and it's my father-in-law's vehicle, so where, I had to be responsible. Where were you shot? No, where, what place? I was walking through the Armory Park on Cranston Street. Um, it's like 11.30, I had- At night? Huh? 11.30 at night? Yes, I had came out of work because I work at the Royal Island Convention Center and I work six to midnight. So I came out a little early so I could catch the Cranston bus. And I was walking and there was a whole bunch, a group of kids in the park. All of a sudden I just heard some shots and then I looked back and started running. And then next thing you know, I was limping by one leg. But you were not involved personally. You were just, you were a victim, you were. A, ran a random person just walking by. I was not, I was not supposed to be a victim. So I was at the wrong time, at the wrong place at the wrong time, like the detective said. You are such a remarkable person. You are here today. You responded to a parking ticket with a bullet in your leg, you know, and you are a mother of four. I get people who come in here, right, who are as healthy as can be. They try to avoid tickets. They come in and make all these excuses, you know, that are Im impossible to believe, right? And nevertheless, you have such a respect for law and order that you're an innocent victim of a gunshot wound and you had no <clears throat> no involvement at all just a, a mother of four and you come to court for a parking ticket i'm dismissing this ticket thank you yana i work two jobs to try to make sure my son's oxygen is always on time because every week i have to refill it my son was born a stillborn so and i have the paperwork from the hospital i just been like back and forth with this pain and they don't want to do nothing they say they can't do nothing because if they take it out it's going to hurt me they're going to hurt me more they say it's like i think 7 inches in there well we all hope for your speedy and complete recovery you know god love you 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 are a remarkable human being. You really are. You really impressed me. Thank Inspector, you, Your Honor. Inspector Quinn, how do you feel about this young lady? Is she something? Your Honor, she's more of a man than I could ever be. I could assure you if I was shot, I would not be standing here. As much as I love it, I can promise you I would not be standing here with a bullet in my leg. No. Oh, so, you're more of a man than I am. Oh, trust me. I'm, I'm in a little, like, discussion with my boyfriend. Yeah. Because I'm at work. I'm supposed to be at work oh. these past, last three days. And he doesn't want me to go. And I'm telling him, I need to go. Oh. Because if not, I don't have a paycheck next week. Yeah. And he's like, what do you mean? Like, you can't go like that. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm going like that. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inspector Quinn gets the sniffles and he stays out of work. <laughs> <laughs> you are a person to be admired. You really are. You are a wonderful example. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. A good and decent human being. You are. You're a good. You're a great mother. Thank you. You know, and a good citizen. And, well, no bitterness at all, Inspector. Quinn. No, none at all. And it's amazing, Your Honor, just well, being a, a, a victim of a crime of violence like that. And you are one of the most coming in here. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You are one of the most amazing people that has appeared before me. You really are. 
Thank you, Your Honor. It's a pleasure to be in your mm. company. Thank good, you. Good luck. The matter is dismissed. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.